This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Well, this is the next stage of uh, queen raising, raising my own queens for the hobbyist. Down inside this hive, down here, we've got one of my favourite queens and she's my one of my main queen breeders. So we're going to go down there and we're going to find some larvae of the appropriate size but first we've got to remove uh, two honey boxes and uh, a comb honey box. So let's give them a bit of smoke. Just just to let them know that we're, we're coming in. I always put the lid on the ground, start from there. And now we're down into the, the super, the, the brood chamber. As per normal, the first thing I always do is clean off the wax. The next thing I'm going to do is going to crack all the frames. As normal, this one's all just food. More honey. There's a frame of brood here, but the emerged larva that's around here, the eggs that have hatched around here, are too old for what we want. We want stuff that's just emerged in the last less than 24 hours. Right, we've checked through the top box and uh, I can't find any brood up there. The bees are bringing in so much nectar, I've driven the queen down. So I've had a rearrange of uh, frames, put some more empty frames in here, shifted the honey up. And we'll have a look, see what we can find in here. That's, this frame here is full of eggs, but it's a bit too early to, can't, you, can't graft, you can't graft eggs, so uh, it's a bit early. And this frame is just about perfect. We'll just have a look at the next frame, see how it is. That one looks to me to be pretty good.
and that one's even better. So we're going to take this frame and now this is how I get rid of the bees. Right, and I'm now going to take that over and put it in the grafting shed and I'll come back and I'll put, sort the hive out. Now, so I don't have to come right back down to the bottom box again, we'll do a little bit of rearranging. I've got an empty frame here, just being drawn. There's a little bit of nectar in it, but the girls will move that out of the way. Put that in there, that'll give the girls some more space to work in. That box is all set now. And I'll put that frame, the, the grafting frame, back into here. And in fact, I won't put it right up against the side like that. I'll put it back into the middle because it's all got young larvae on it. And we'll put that back into here. We'll have to pull this hive to bits again, but that's not an issue. Queen excluder back on. And now I'll see if I can pick those boxes up again and put them back on again. Sweet. And I put the lid back on again, and uh, they'll be right till we get back here again shortly. Okay, before we get uh, into grafting, something that you need to know there's certain things that happen on certain days starting from the day the eggs laid and you can go and google queen grafting calendars or queen raising calendars and there's several of them out there uh, and I have modified that to suit my records a little bit better so I've got on here uh, who the donor hive was the hive number, queen, how many cells I'm grafting and then because it's today's date that I'm grafting, I'm trying to 
remove the mag. Because of the the date, down here it works out what each day is. So the, the egg that I'm grafting today was laid on the 26th uh, and on the 29th, so it's three days later, I'm going to graft day old larvae. And they should be a C shape when you're grafting them. If they've got to the stage where they're already a U shape, the graft is the egg, baby, larvae is too big, too old. We want the smallest possible. That way that when the bees feed the feed those larvae, they'll produce nice queens. So we're going to graft on this day. We will check the graft in a couple of days' time to see how, uh, how many grafts have been accepted. On Sunday, they will be capped. So we want to know how many are capped. Next three days is very sensitive. You don't want to bang, bust, move, don't go near the hive. Next, the, the Thursday is okay. And on Friday the 8th, we will harvest these cells. You can also harvest them up here on the 1st of December. And then there's other bits and pieces that come out, uh, checking that the cells have been uh, emerged and such like. And way down here on the 28th of December should be the first time we're actually checking for eggs with our new cells. So, saying that, we now need to get ready. We're in my honey shed. It's reasonably cool in here at 31 degrees. Cooler than being outside anyway. I put my magnifiers on because I want really, really tiny larvae. And we're going to do a bit of grafting with both the brush and with the Chinese. I happen to like the Chinese, so we'll start on with that just till I get my hand going. So I come down here, and the cells, remember, are on an angle, 9 degrees. So you've got to get the grafting tool to come down on an angle. And then you end up with that. And in amongst that little blob of jelly is the cell. And you put it in here. So we come down on an angle. Pick up the little grub. Can you see it there, Chen? No, I can't. Can you see that? See the little C-shape? And you put it in here and gently push the tool on the end and pop it off. And you want to get you want to get a nice patch of a nice lump quantity of royal jelly at the same time. Oh, I just missed one cell there, so I'll get that the next time. Yep. Oh, if I can do it blind, I can't see. Yeah, yeah. See the grub perfectly on there? This doesn't come easy. Start off practice, uh, grafting larger grubs until you get used to picking them up. The other thing that you can try grafting with is with uh, the triple O brush. Now, it's very, very fine. You can see it up against my thumbnail. No, maybe not. Across there you can see it. Can you see that, Chan? Yes. Um, it's very, very fine. Now, if you can't pick the grub up with that, the grub's too big. 
All right? So it's a pretty simple rule. And again, it's the same principle. You go in, and here on the end is the little grub. When you put it in here, just I just give it a little twirl, and the grub comes off and sits in the bottom. You can use the Chinese uh, the paintbrush. Some people prefer that. I'm getting to the stage where I reckon I'm getting reasonably good with grafting tool. If you make a mistake, as I said before, just put an extra grub in the same cell. The bees will sort it out. So when you've got the grub on the end here, you come down to the bottom of the cell and put a bit of pressure on. And then when you press the, the little lever on the end, it just pushes the grub off. And now you're left with a little grub in the bottom of the cell. Now some people put these frames in the nuke of the the queenless hive for a day beforehand to let the bees clean them out. I don't bother. I just think it's too much extra work to do and I find that I don't need to have every cell uh, be a success. So if I end up with a few misses, I don't care. I get more than enough queens or queen cells To satisfy my demands. Okay, so that's the job done. The next thing I do is, in a bit of isopropyl alcohol, I wash the brush, wash the grafting tool, Put it away in its little container. Get rid of my glasses. Magnifiers, wherever I've done with that other piece. The little bag that it was in. Now we'll find it. It's on the floor. And so now the next next thing we need to do is we need to put these into the frame holders. So you put them upside down. Put that in there. Quite amazing that uh, the little grubs will not fall out, even though they're hanging upside down. I've never seen one fall out yet. That's it, done. So now we'll put our overalls on and we'll go and put the cells into the hive and we'll then go and put the frame back in its rightful hive. So now we need to uh, okay so now we need to put one of these in each of our two colonies that we uh, made up today. The bees have been sitting here now for a couple of hours so they I can hear by the noise of them that they are grumpy, so that we know that they're queenless. And we can have a look in here and we can see a good quantity of bees, so we're happy with that, what we've done. First thing we're going to do, remember we put in a spare frame. So we'll take that out, and we're going to put our grafted frame right in the middle put 
that in there. Squeeze the frame up around it. We'll get rid of that bit of wax that's on top. So the lid fits down nice. So get those all positioned nice and neatly. And now we put the lid back on again. So now we need to do the next the next hive. Take the lid off. Spare frame is just here. Put that side. Open that up. Remember, I had brood uh, open brood when we actually put them in the hive. So I'm, pick, I'm putting the graft right beside the open, the open brood. Put a wax on here again. Clean that off. Lid back on again. We're going to put hive straps back on again in a few minutes. And I'll come around the back here. So that's it for queen grafting. We will come back in uh, a couple of days' time and uh, have a look, see how many cells we've got. Um, we'll just lift the frame up nice and gently and have a look and see how many cells that they've started to draw. If they only draw a couple, that's fine. If they draw more, that's fine as well. So that's it from Trev and Trev's Bees, Facebook and YouTube. Queen Grafting. <laughs>